So yeah, it is Christmas by now. Look at our pretty Christmas tree. Look at our pretty Christmas tree and the presents. What I'm going to do today is cut our pattern. And this is a new look pattern number 6449. Yeah, it's 6449. And I got it on a local pattern website. And I'm hopefully going to use this pattern and make this smaller, make this shorter, and put darts in here. So I can make it into a nurse dress. It probably should work and can remove the pocket. I cannot make this if I can make it shorter and uh, smaller. I'm just not very good at pattern drafting, so I'd like to use a pre made pattern and change it. So, and I got this very awesome linen. Got this very awesome linen fabric, which I can hope can distress and make dirty and. But I only have two meters of it, so I should maybe. I don't know if if it's gonna work, but it hopefully will. And I'll see you back. So yeah, last time I checked in with you guys, it was daylight, and now it's dark outside. Yeah, I've been sitting here for like hours. I don't even know. And I cut the pattern out. This is front to the back and whatever. And the pattern had a yoke. And English isn't my native language. So I've been sitting here like, what the hell is a yoke? What the hell is a yoke? And I got, I got I panicked because I've never seen a yoke in any pattern before because they normally only do historic patterns. And they never have yokes. They just never have yokes. So apparently this thing is a yoke. And I was like, what the hell is a yoke? Where's it supposed to go? And then I figured out because this this oh wait that's my pants. This is supposed to line up. It isn't. So I think the yoke is supposed to go on the back. I did not understand. <laughs> so I started procrastinating, and I was like. Four hours later, and I only I've only cut the pattern out, and looked at the instructions, and made a mess out of my living room. So let's venture on. Oh my gosh, this about fits. I have that little spot left for yoke. I only need to cut one, so that's okay. I got that. I need to shorten the sleeve because the sleeve doesn't fit. I need to shorten it about there, but I'm gonna fray it anyway, so that's okay. I got that on the fold line, I got those two, I got that, and the yoke is over there. I'm gonna cut the yoke later. But this about fits, and I'm so happy because I, can, I can't get this fabric again for this cheap, and it's amazing. So let's get to cutting. Oh my god, I'm progressing! And I didn't panic yet, as of yet. Look, the yoke is in. Well, the darts are going the same way. <laughs> Which is great, but who's gonna look at my back anyway? So the yoke is in, and this is the back. It's way too long still. So next up is the front and the sleeves. And a few hours later, this is what we got. And there's one thing I'm very, very proud of. Let me zoom in on it. It's my seam. It's the seam I got for my buttons and my buttonholes. I'm very proud of that. Um, right now the sleeves are still too long. The dress itself is still too long and it's shapeless. But I have to wait for my boyfriend to come home so he can pin me into it uh, with all the shape we're on and everything to make it look good. So that's for next time. And then I'll show you that and then I'll show you how I distress this thing, which I'm very excited about. So yes, 
A day of sewing? Done.